I'm not in the mood today. I'm gonna just go ahead and put that out there. I'm not in the mood today, but I'm alive. God gave me breath. I have a house. Um, I have transportation. I have food. So I'm grateful and I'm here and I'm doing what I love. Just not on the day that I love. I hate Mondays and it's raining. So the combination of those two things is just throwing my mood all the way off. But neither here nor there. I am going to show what it takes to prep for a television segment. At home, you guys see that it's like, oh, it's cute. It's like a four minute, six minute segment. But on my end and behind the scenes, it actually takes me about 15 to 24 hours to prep for just those 46 minutes. I just wanted to show what that looked like. So today I am going to be creating the project because I can't just make it for the first time ever on air. I actually have to make it on my own so that I'll know what the process looks like and what the steps should be. I need to be able to easily show how to make a 30 minute project in four to six minutes. And that takes a little bit of thought. That is the hard part, trying to show something that is detailed within a short time window. Yeah, that part always stresses me out. So I actually have to make the project so I know what it'll look like when I actually do it on camera. I have to think about what my hair is gonna look like. I have to do my nails. I have to think about what I'm going to wear. And then I also want to think about how the set is going to look behind me, which is back there. I'll show it to you later. So because of COVID, we are not doing the segments in person right now. We're doing them through Zoom. And with that being said, I just really like my set to be festive and to kind of match the theme. So this one is back to school related. So I was thinking about doing like some apples. That might be lame, but <laughs> I got some apples and I got a composition book. So yeah, that is what we'll be doing today. And right now, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into creating the first project, which is a no-sew no laptop sleeve. And then after that, I'm turning these cereal boxes into desk organizers. I'll be back. I just finished the mock-up version of the no-sew laptop sleeve. I don't know why it took me so long to think about that. With segments, you you don't have to, but it's a good idea to create the project ahead of time. That way you don't look crazy on camera trying to figure it out. So I like to walk through the steps on my own. So that is why I create the mock-up versions. Um, also, I do the mock-up versions because I need to know what supplies the project calls for because I have to type out the materials and send it over to the producer of the show so that she can create a graphic to insert into the segment so that people at home can either screenshot the supplies or write them down so that they can make it themselves. This is the mock-up version. It is not perfect, but when I actually make it for real, for real, it'll be a lot more neat. And then I think I'm going to either die this elastic so that it matches the case a little better or I'm going to switch the fabric to something nicer. I will not be using this pink fabric anyways. I'm going to use this but I do want it to match this a little better. Moving on to the cereal boxes next. I have started eating the cereal. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. I'm watching Real Housewives of Potomac. I just feel like if Wendy was gonna get her butt done, 
she should have got her butt done, you know? It just could have been a little more. I don't really see a difference. And I like Mia so far. But she did lie about her age. Anyways. Okay, back to work. Just finished project number two. These are the cereal boxes turned into desk organizers. This is so cute. I just cut the cereal boxes and then I covered them in scrapbook paper. There are imperfections, but that's okay. It's a DIY project. Uh, but yeah, so this was actually a little bit more detailed than I thought. So on camera for my segment, I'm probably going to more so explain how to do it than show how to do it because if I were to sit there and cut the box and cut the paper on camera that alone would probably take me more than 10 minutes and like I said I only have about four to six minutes to do two projects not just one so I'll probably have all the paper and all the boxes well two of the boxes cut to size already and just slap one piece of paper on one side and then tuck this under the table and be like oh look here i have a finished product so i think that's how i'm gonna spend this one but now that i know exactly what materials i need for this project i'm gonna go ahead and send that over to the producer as well and i don't think i mentioned earlier or did i because of covid we're not able to be in the studio with each other so they like to follow along with me, so I actually have to make another version of this that is almost made, but not all the way, because she's going to follow along with me on camera and finish it off herself. So, this is the mock-up version. I just had to teach myself how to do it. And then on Wednesday, I will actually make it again, so I'm kind of doing this three times. It's a lot, but this is the life I chose, so... You know, I could be somewhere doing construction or <laughs> in the heat, but I am in the heat because it is humid in here, but I'm going to turn that air conditioning on for a second. Now I'm going to go send that email. Um, when will I come back? I might come back when I'm actually talking the steps out so you can see what it looks like when I'm rehearsing. So I will be back later, probably tomorrow. Bye. 24 hours later. It is now Tuesday and it is still raining, so my mood is still thrown off. The sun literally came out as soon as I said that. Great. I just got back from dropping the supplies off at the station for the host of the show so that she can follow along with me. And now that that is done, I'm about to go get my hair done because I just look really rough right now. I will probably look rough on here often because I look rough often. <laughs> the only time that I really look perfectly put together or pretty is when I'm on camera. But this camera right here will not be getting that. This is real life and this is me. So I'm about to go get my hair done and let the Dominicans do what they do. I would do my hair myself, but I can't afford to spend four hours on my hair today. I should be spending four hours rehearsing and prepping myself so that I can have a really strong segment to add to my reel. While I'm sitting there, I'm probably gonna go through my notes, rehearse the lines in my head, then come back home and rehearse again. So we are probably on hour number 10 of getting ready for a four to six minute segment. So yeah. And one thing, my nose is stuffy. I ran back and forth between the garage and the house so much yesterday in the rain with shorts on and no jacket. So I might have a cold now. So I'm praying that I don't sound like this tomorrow because if I did all this preparation and work just to sound like Steve Urkel, I'm going to be upset. I will be back when I look like, I don't know, when I look better than this. Earlier this year, I asked the lady to trim my hair and 
when I got out of her seat and I looked in the mirror, I had a bob. A bob, not a trim. I was so pissed. <laughs> like, my hair went from here to here. So I'm just happy to see my hair finally growing back. Hey girl, welcome back. Okay, let me go do some work. Please do not be um, shocked by my outfit change. It is very dramatic. <laughs> I said I was gonna get comfortable and that is exactly what I went and did. I'm in here rehearsing. I just finished the completed project for the laptop sleeve. It looks a lot better than it did yesterday. I still have to make it again tomorrow, but this was my completed one for my rehearsal. So I'm gonna run through it real quick and yeah. I'm gonna watch y'all let me clean up. I'm gonna watch y'all let me clean up, okay. I'm sleepy. I'm gonna let y'all watch me clean up. So, it's really not that bad in here. I just need a little order. Twenty-four hours later. Good morning. So it is the day of. We are gonna start in about forty minutes. So I have my lighting set up. I have my laptop set up on a ladder, aka my tripod. So this is the front view. So we do the zoom from the computer, and then over here on the tripod right there is where the camera that is actually in my hand right now will sit because that's gonna record the side view of me while I am talking. So this is it. I am ready. I have all my supplies under here so that I can easily grab them while I talk. Uh, one thing I did not think about, I thought about everything except for this. So the craft that I'm doing requires me to have a laptop over there. However, if I have it over there, I have nothing right here to record with, so <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. So yeah, <laughs> I got to figure that out real quick and then I'm about to go and get ready and then we'll start. Just got out the shower and yes, I have on clothes. You just can't see them, but at this point I am running behind because the laptop issue actually threw me off. I thought I had everything figured out. So that took me an extra 15 minutes and those 15 minutes were for my shower. I'm gonna finish my face, do my hair, throw on my clothes and run outside. back when we actually start we are gonna start in about five minutes I'm nervous I'm always nervous I'll never never mind I'm not gonna say that I was gonna say I'll never not be nervous but there will be a day when I'm not nervous I'm working on that this is what I was made to do and I had to remind myself that God is literally in control because I'm just a girl that likes to sit inside and watch Dateline and eat pizza and solitude 
and not talk to anybody so he has to take over when stuff like this happens and there is no way that he can mess up so everything is going to be great and we're about to get started when we're done i will come back and get and give you know an update on how it went so be back I'm done everything is done the segment is done I've taken my pictures of the final products I took pictures of myself and I sent everything over to the blah, blah, blah. I sent everything over to the producer so that's it um I'm saying that's it like oh that's it no that was a lot but this is what it takes to prep for such a short segment so when you're watching me and you're like oh that was really quick please know that a lot of time effort and thought went into those little four to six minutes we actually got the seven minutes today but they'll probably chop it down to make it quicker because Atlanta and company I think is only 30 minutes now because of the pandemic um so yeah now I have to go work for myself that was work for myself but outside of the network now I have to go work on my own projects so I'm gonna go eat I'm probably going to take off all this makeup and get back in my pajamas and get back to work. So, peace out and I will be back at some point. Oh, and I actually post the segment link in the description below so you can see how it actually turned out. So, bye y'all. I got to find something else other than this peace sign. I feel like this is the official YouTuber stamp. Peace, y'all. So I got to stop that. Bye. <laughs>